Okay, let's talk Google Cloud Workstations. Uh, what is it? How it helps developers and IT folks and examples of how you might use it. So first off, what is it? Uh, workstations are an on-demand, consistent cloud development environment uh, with a focus on security and faster dev onboarding. But that could mean a lot of things. So specifically, what is it? It is um, a web application hosted in the Cloud Console to create and manage container images, which are then used as templates to create development environments that run on a dedicated VM for each developer. So you've got a template, kick that off, start a VM, and then that's the dev environment for, for each of the developers. And they can access that over SSH, uh, TCP ports, or HTTPS uh, proxy connections that are authenticated by the regular Google login to the project. And I think of this as kind of, um, you know, as we've been moving applications from customized VMs to ephemeral containers, this is a similar thing for development environments, um, you know, trying to make them more consistent and, you know, available on demand and turn them off when you're not using them. And if you've used uh, the Cloud Shell, which is the kind of console at the, at the bottom, uh, the, the command line console at the bottom of the Google Cloud Web Console, um, this product is a high-powered, customizable version of that technology. And you know, while the, uh, the core VM is ephemeral, the home directory is saved between uses. So developers can start and stop the workstations as needed and you know, customize them and add their own um, tooling and configuration to the home directory and go from there. So this is a product that you use directly. Uh, most Google Cloud services are building blocks to assemble together to build your own application. Uh, Workstations is more like BigQuery or cloud logging. It's an application that you use directly, and you create these templates and kind of go from there. So, so what? Uh, you know, why? How does this help people uh, get their jobs done, save time, that sort of thing? Uh, so, I think the at a high level, you know, this on-demand environment uh, is accessible anywhere that. You know, your developers have web access from any machine with a browser. Um, and this is, you know, really powerful. Um, and it gives you, uh, your op all of your users are kind of operating in the cloud. So all of us uh, developers, which is really nice. Um, and, you know, we provide some managed base images, um, and Docker images that have a bunch of things installed, including support for uh, multiple IDEs, such as um, VS Code and, IntelliJ, PyCharm, things like that. Um, and since it's a container image, you can add your own layers on top of that. It's fully customizable. Um, you could add different extensions, libraries, IDEs, um, you know, whatever you need for your uh, organization or your local team. Um, and since it is, you know, this kind of container base, um, it makes for a consistent environment for all the developers on a given project. And I I love this because I think it really helps with the, you know, common scenario in software where you're troubleshooting something and you're like, I don't know, it works on my machine. And, you know, this really changes that and uh, gets us, you know, in a consistent place. Um, and I think also it creates for, you know, faster onboarding uh, for new folks joining a team. And in addition to that, you know, we get some, uh, some nice security properties that help us make for more secure development environments. Um, this is running on a VM. And so you get all the same kind of access that you would for a regular VM. You can uh, connect to VPCs or limit to, to, to only certain VPCs. Uh, you have VPC service controls. Um, you can set organizational policies for the project itself, use security tools, uh, and the like. And the next thing is, is actually the biggest thing from my perspective. Um, you are now you know, running your development environment, you're testing and running in, in the cloud um, on a VM. And I've you know, often struggled to try to recreate um, the, you know, a local environment that truly matches cloud. And I think it's really hard, maybe impossible to do. And so this, this gets us you know, so that the code we're running and testing and building you know, has the same kind of performance characteristics, um, same authentication kind of uh, setup that we'll be using in a test and production environment, which just dramatically reduces the amount of kind of fiddling and troubleshooting you end up doing later, um, which I really like. And I've been doing it for a long time, uh, just over SSH, but then you don't get a full ID, which brings me to examples. Um, so, 
let me give a few examples of how you might use this. Um, one is related to this last point. Um, modern IDEs um, can either you know, run fully remote over kind of a web interface or run in kind of a split mode where there's an engine that runs remotely and a local GUI. And when you run it that way with workstations, you've got the engine, so the code and the actual ex execution of your code is happening in the cloud, but your GUI and everything there is local, so it feels very fast and fluid. Um, and I think of this as kind of best of both worlds. Um, it really makes things a lot more efficient. Um, and in addition to that, you know, if you've got uh, tools that are purely web-based, they run great in this mode. So things like Jupyter Notebooks uh, are a common example um, and you know, just really handy uh, for a lot of uses. So those run great over web. And then you also have command line access via SSH. So any of the console tools you want to use, you can go ahead and use them. And then since this is all container-based, you know, your skills for managing containers and, you know, um, build pipelines and maybe policies or, or tools around how that works in your organization, you can apply that to development environments as well. Um, and that's just really handy one, um, works well in large organizations. And you can do things like um, install and even run tools that are, you know, kind of useful for every one of your developers. If you're doing Kubernetes uh, development, for example, you could have a configured mini cube set up and running on a local port for each of your developers, just out of the box and ready to go. And since this is a VM running on a VPC, um, you know, any other kind of DevOps or developer tooling you would like to use, uh, such as GitLab or TeamCity, um, you can install those in the same project and have all the workstations talk to them and, you know, limit access to them. And, you know, maybe this gave you some ideas for how you might be able to use it. Um, hope so. Uh, please take a look at the docs, forward them around to other uh, teammates, and give it a try. So the docs are at cloud.google.com slash workstations slash docs. And thanks for watching. Take care.